yeah, we need a totally different model. I mean, unfortunately, the, the it's quite a short period, but that post-war boom, which is in the West responsible for so many extraordinary leaps forward in terms of, of human well-being uh, and, and health uh, and development, also gave us the, the model of the I'm afraid North American sprawling city designed for cars where everybody needs to have half an acre and a, and a plot of land. And we now know it just doesn't work. It can't work for, for 7 billion people. It, it never worked for 5 billion people. I, I'd say we're at, we're at a critical point now where, very different to when I was first engaged in city politics 15 or 20 years ago, when still that was the aspiration. People wanted yeah. to have the new Los Angeles in, in, in their country. Now it's very much the case, even the leaders of Los Angeles themselves want a different type of, 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 of city and there's a broad acceptance amongst urban political leaders that having more compact, dense cities based on mass transit rather than sprawl and the car is what makes people happier, makes stronger economies. However, however, it still is the case that the dominant model of urban development is still that car-based sprawl model. So what happens in the next three or four years is going to be critical if we can tip over into a new model of urban development.